All right, folks. We have some other inspections today. I am near the permit box at 2122. And uh, it takes John quite a bit of time from the county to do the roof sheathing, shear wall, wall sheathing, and firewall inspections. It takes him a while. When he's walking through there, I really don't talk with him that much because he's focused pretty clearly. But here's what we got. We got two remediation areas right here. It says uh, 107D, see uh, page S1.1 of the prints for location of the corrections. That doesn't mean a whole lot to folks sitting at home. There's John right there heading off. But I'll give you an example of why. So Jerry, the master framer, he does his inspections. I do mine. And then the county guy comes, and this is the goal. If there's anything wrong, it's just a couple tiny. This is from previous inspection in the black ink up there. But this is the reason why uh, Jerry does all his inspections. I do mine, and then we have the county, John from the county come out. So now follow me here. This is some plywood. It ain't that long from this corner to there. Okay. And this one spot. It's nailed off here. It's nailed off here. What's the problem? Why do we need to add nails here? You know, what? It's all nailed off, you'd think. But the detail says specifically nail it at 16 inches on center. That's important. For complete compliance to the engineer's intention so I'm gonna to walk to the other side of the wall so just imagine keep in mind this little space right here I'm gonna to try to keep my fingers in the same spot do, 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 do. we're coming around the corner there's that spot right in there this stud is where we need to add nails from outside into this stud because this is the 16 inch on center. So even though it's gun nailed right there, it's real hard to see, there's lumber right in here where they did gun nail it. I mean, good job. There's those nails for that piece that I just pad my fingers on. There's that stud. So this is a very good reason to be super detailed. So there's studs all over this place hundreds probably didn't I'm not, I'm not even gonna count them but we found two spots one here and one in the other unit there so is this a problem not at all failed inspections are fine I was in the Navy man you failed all the damn time you just get used to it <clears throat> because perfection is a pretty high goal you know and so this will not hold a whole hold up any progress because Jerry's still got to send his metal crew in. And it takes him about four hours to install all the metal tie downs and anchor bolts and all that stuff. Um, then we got to get that inspected separately in the roof deck and tie down inspection. So what we've been doing is getting this inspection first. Now it passed roof sheathing, so I can get a hold of Matt and say, "Go ahead and dry dry in this roof." And then he still, we still got to get all the tie downs on all this stuff. We'll just go ahead and add, add those nails right there, easy peasy. And we got a uh, Bo McGee. He's building, still building that house pad. He got Jimmy brought in a truckload of a couple more Bobcats. Oh, why we got to do that? All right, folks. It better be just that one bucket full of dirt. Here's, here's why I tell you about the dumpsters. Oh, this will be on the exam. Okay. Construction dumpsters is supposed to be only consisting of the contents being the Frenchman, Monsieur Debris. Okay. So, uh... Dirt is not Monsieur Debris, it's dirt. So you load up a dumpster with 20% dirt, 
Oh, Tom from Republic's gonna chew you out because he's gonna catch all hell at uh, the dump. They don't want that dirt in there. So. Uh, he's just getting a little bit of dirt. Uh -oh. Okay, okay. They're building the house pad and doing the rough grade where we poured the slab yesterday. Okay, that's Bo himself in that machine there, and there's Jimmy. Please, no more dirt in the dumpster there, Bo. I mean, he doesn't know that, but let's go take a look what a rough grade looks like. Well, you guys are getting to see a little bit of everything today. You got to see trusses delivered, uh, how well Juan and the guys took care of that slab by covering it with plastic in the rain. Uh, Juan's guys do got to come back and do this, to cut the saw joints in here, the uh, control joints. So someone asked me what's control joints. That's these saw cuts right here. All right, so uh, they're called control joints, and the engineer on the print shows us where to put them. So the reason for control joints, what are they controlling? They're controlling cracks, okay? Concrete's a wonderful product to build. It's absolutely wonderful. You could form it, you could shape it, you do all kinds of stuff with it. But uh, it is, it does crack. And so a long time ago, engineers found out if you just run a control joint, so take the saw, there's Jose, he is the grande jefe of the, and you cut a saw joint right along there, any cracks will stop right there. So let me talk with the good looking fella.